Money makes the world go round. But you have to wonder, who invented it? Today I'm going to cover who invented money, a short history. Welcome back to Luxury Kings, let's get into the video. Metal objects used as currency as early as 5000 BC. Humans have long used commodities and goods as currency. Items such as rice, flour, sugar, seeds, and cattle could be traded for other commodities. While this system was sustainable in many ways, it became quite inconvenient due to the size and weight of many of these goods. Transport and trade facility were not always guaranteed. Though it's difficult to pinpoint the exact moment in history when humans began to use physical objects as currency, many historians and archaeologists believe that metal objects and precious stones were used as currency as early as 5000 BC. According to Wonderopolis, many archaeologists' findings suggest that precious metal and stone artifacts were actually a form of early currency, though it would take several centuries before the first form of recognized coinage was invented. Metal detectors and have never found anything. They're probably hating Carrington right now. The coins are estimated to be worth over 1,000 pounds or one- Lydians invented coins around 600 BC. The early humans were already using precious stones and rocks as currency for thousands of years. The first officially recognized coin that was government issued was a Lydian stator, which was the official currency of the Lydian Empire and dates back to approximately 600 BC. The earliest coins of this era can be traced back to the King of Aleades. These coins were originally composed of electrum, but later models were made from gold and silver. The gold and silver staters had a value that was easier to calculate as their composition was pure and not composite like the electrum staters. According to the World History Encyclopedia, the staters were stamped with the official Lydian Empire emblem, which ensured that they were nearly impossible to counterfeit. The original coins often had a double-sided stamps with one side showcasing a head. This ancient practice of putting a monarch, ruler, or king on currency is still very much alive today. Those ancient Lydian coins became the model for many other civilizations to use when they were creating their own coinage. Assigning a fixed monetary value to each coin facilitated the exchange of goods and services. It meant that a buyer didn't need to trade anything from their own inventory in order to make a purchase. If you want to learn more about Lydian and other ancient coins, Simply ask for our eight-page ancient coin report. It contains history, pictures, and descriptions. How money evolved over time. The Lydian staters made their journey from Asia Minor to Greece over the next few centuries, where they eventually reached Europe. By about 500 BC, coin currency was circulating in southern Italy and throughout Greece. Though coin currency would reign supreme for thousands of years, the first paper money was only developed during the Song Dynasty in China in the 11th century. The invention of paper money was a revolutionary way that citizens could carry around their currency without it literally weighing them down. A lighter and more practical form of currency, the paper notes were invented around the same time as credit notes, which were called bills of exchange at the time. These original bills of exchange allowed merchants to buy certain goods and services with a specific expectation of repayment by a certain date. Cryptocurrency. The evolution of money has not come to an end, and it will never come to an end. As the economic pattern of money today, while coin and paper money is still very much in circulation in present day, there is a much higher prevalence of electronic money exchange. Paying for goods and services directly from our bank accounts via our bank cards or credit cards is quite the norm, especially as this method enables us to make purchases online, which is super practical and common during a global pandemic. Online wallets with third party sites like PayPal and Twint are also becoming quite common when it comes to easy currency exchanges. Cryptocurrencies are also making their mark. More and more people are getting interested in investing in these modern currencies that do not rely on banks to exist. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.